Hey, Mom. Uh, could I have a New Year's Eve party this year? Ugh. How many people would you invite? Well, I'd want to invite Richard, Ned, Kevin, Evan, I guess, and Trevor will probably invite himself. <laughs> Five people? That's hardly a party at all. Sure, you can have your party. I don't care. And Billy, too? Billy? No. Nope. No party. Not happening. Oh, come on, Mom. Why do you hate Billy so much? He's a delinquent! Every time you're with him, you get in trouble. Usually that's because of my other friends, though. Not Billy. Billy just wants food all the time. Don't make up lies for him. There will be no party. End of discussion. A party? I want to go. There is no party. My mom said no. Besides, I wouldn't want to invite you anyway. It's for big kids. Oh man, I wanted to go to a party. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, you can have a New Year's Eve party. Yes, but you have to let your little cousin hang out with you boys. Yay! No mom, please, I can't let him come to our party. He's a child, he can't hang out with us. But I thought you were gonna let me play with you and your friends from now on because I beat all of you in Nuff Wars last week. Yeah, but you can't hang out with us at a New Year's Eve party. You can't stay up late. I can too stay up late. One time, I didn't go to bed until nine o'clock at night. That's not late. Look, I gave you your choices. Either you let your cousin come to your party or there will be no party. End of discussion. <sighs> Fine, we'll have the party, but you better not embarrass me. Yay, happy 4th of July, everyone. <laughs> See, mom, he doesn't even know what holiday it is. <sighs> I'm sure he'll figure it out, eventually. All right, Mom, the guests should be arriving soon. Uh, I can't believe I'm letting you have a party on New Year's Eve. I should be going to an adult party right now, but instead I have to stay here and babysit a bunch of kids. But Mom, you never get invited anywhere for New Year's. I know, but this year I could have been. Sup, losers? Is this where the party's at? <sighs> Hi, Trevor. I didn't receive an invitation, but I just invited myself anyway. I figured you were too intimidated by my awesomeness to want to invite me in person. But here I am. You're welcome. Yeah, right. Howdy! Thanks for hosting this party, fella. I really appreciate it. We're gonna have a great time. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for coming. Hello. I brought a PlayStation because I know you guys are too poor to afford gaming systems here. Well, you could have just stayed home, Evan. I would have enjoyed that more. Salutations! I'm gonna be leaving promptly at 12.01 so that I can get home to study for our test on Tuesday. Of course you will, Ned. <sighs> so, Richard, I'm surprised you came. Yeah, I wasn't going to, but then I thought of a really funny prank I could play. So here I am. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. Okay, well, it looks like everyone's here. Go shut the doors and lock them. But mom, Billy's not here yet. Exactly! Hurry, lock the door! <laughs> Hi! No! Hey, Billy. Sorry I'm late. There was a pizza hut on the way here, so I had to stop to get some. <sighs> I wish you stayed there, Billy. Oh, I do too, but they close early because it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> All right, looks like everyone's here. Let's get this party started. <sighs> Thanks for coming, everyone. I'm so glad you all could make it. Of course, there's nowhere I'd rather be than with my friends. Dang it, I forgot an HDMI cord. Does anyone have an extra one? That TV doesn't work, Evan. Yeah, our grandma threw a cookie at it and then it stopped working. Your TV doesn't work? No, this is the end of the world. Evan, please, it's not the end of the world. Well, you know, Ned, it might actually be the end of the world. Huh? All of the news outlets are saying that 2024 is the end of the world. Oh no, do you guys know what this means? We're all gonna die! No! If I had known that, I would have eaten five slices of pizza today instead of three! Billy, it's not actually the end of the world. Richard is just trying to prank us. No, I'm not, dude. I'm really serious. Here, check out this video. Hello, everybody. My name is, uh, definitely not Richard. And tonight we have some breaking news we need to share. When the clock strikes midnight on January 1st, 2024, Chaos will ensue. Earth will be eaten by a giant alien, and the world will end. Thanks for watching. 
How do you explain that? Wow, that newsman really looked like Richard. But he clearly said his name was not Richard. Oh my goodness, you're right. I'm gonna die surrounded by losers. But we have a test on Tuesday. I can't miss that. Ned, the world won't be around on Tuesday. And I didn't even get to say goodbye to my horse, Bessie. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 6 yet. Guys, relax. The world isn't ending. Richard is just trying to pull a prank on us. Oh my gosh, boys, did you hear the news? The world is ending? What? I got a text from an unknown number that says, the world will end at midnight. See, I told you guys I wasn't lying. Oh no. What do we do, guys? Well, we have to call the police. Let's start a fire. No, guys. If the world is truly ending, then there's only one thing we can do. Party like there's no tomorrow. guys but i'm getting sweepy oh man Ugh, don't be such a party pooper it's eight o'clock i knew this would happen i told you you wouldn't be able to stay up late with us i guess i just partied too hard it's okay partner maybe next year you'll be able to stay up late with us why don't you head upstairs to bed? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna go upstairs to bed. I'm gonna sleep in this room with you guys. But how are you supposed to sleep in here if we're still partying like crazy? We're gonna be loud, dude. Well, maybe you guys could just party a little bit quieter. A quiet party? <laughs> that sounds lame, man. <sighs> Mom, can you please tell him he needs to go to sleep in his own room? <sighs> Your little cousin wants to spend New Year's Eve with his older cousin. I personally think that is really cute. Plus, if this really is our last day on Earth, what do you want to be with your family? Yeah, cousin! Think about how much fun we can still have together! But you'll be asleep. You guys can still have fun! Just try to have fun quietly! Okay, good night, friends! I hope I see you all when I die! Alright, guys, let's keep this party going! But be a little bit quieter! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> Seriously, Billy? Sorry, I got a little bit too excited. Auntie, Billy woke me up. Of course he did. He's being inconsiderate as always. Go back to sleep. You boys need to be quieter. Otherwise, we'll be spending our last few moments on Earth in silence. But mom, what are we supposed to do if we can't party? Maybe we could just talk. Talk? Who talks at a party? I don't know. I figured maybe we could reminisce on some of our favorite moments from 2023. Oh, that's a splendid idea. That sounds dumb. I'm in. I'll go first. Yo, dude, remember when I broke your mom's favorite vase and then your grandma had to use tape to fix it? <laughs> that was hilarious, man. Wait, what? Trevor, you weren't supposed to say anything. I'll go next. Remember when we were pet-sitting Evan's lizard, and then it burst into flames in Kevin's hands? <laughs> I still have nightmares about that. You guys did a horrible job babysitting Raggedy Ann. I knew I couldn't trust you, just like I couldn't trust you in our first Nerf war. You shot me, Evan. I thought we had a brotherly pact. Oh, you just had to bring that up, didn't you? What about the time that you guys pushed Ned and I into a pool when we were playing superheroes? <laughs> 
That was all me, man. You guys annoyed me so much that day. Oh my gosh. Do you boys remember when I found out that my current boyfriend was my ex-boyfriend's twin brother? And then I rejected his marriage proposal? <laughs> what a funny day. Mom, that's not as cool as you think it is. <laughs> yeah, you totally made a big mistake, lady. My dad is never gonna love you. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Enjoy the end of the world, boys. Hey. Do you fellas remember when we had that crazy singing teacher on the first day of school? But then he realized he was in the wrong classroom, so we wound up having Mr. Rollyworth as our teacher instead? <laughs> That's not a happy memory, Ned. That's an awful memory. That day traumatized me. Well, I look back on that memory fondly. Yo, speaking of Mr. Rollyworth, do you guys remember when we broke into his house just to change Ned's grade? <laughs> that was awesome. That was such a dumb idea. But I got to admit, it was pretty fun. We had a good year, didn't we? We sure did. <sighs> it's too bad we're all about to die. Yeah, right. Uh, guys, listen. I got to tell you something. No, 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 Richard. You don't have to pour your heart out to us. We already know you love us deep down, so don't ruin your tough guy act. That wasn't what I was gonna say, but okay, never mind. I'm not gonna say it anymore. Fellas, why don't we just reminisce about things all the way until midnight? I wanna die knowing that I had a great year. Oh yeah! Let's do this all night! Ah, good morning, everyone. What did I miss? Everyone's asleep? What time is it? 11.59? Oh no! One more minute until we all die! No! Please! Please let us live! Please let us live! Ah! Ha! Who's there? Ha! What? What is it? Guys! It's 12 o'clock! Oh! We're dead! Wow! This is not at all how I imagined death to be. Guys, we ain't dead. What are you talking about, Kevin? It's 12 o'clock! The news said the world would end at midnight! Evan, does it feel like the world ended? Uh... Not really, no! Wait, so we didn't all die? Surprise! Once again, I pranked all of you guys. I knew it was a prank, I knew it! The Earth wasn't eaten by an alien! No, it wasn't. Richard, why would you lie to us, dude? We're your bros. I don't know. I got bored. I thought it would be funny. And it totally was, man. <laughs> it wasn't funny, Richard. I was scared to death. I was so nervous I was never going to be able to eat pizza again. I am so glad that wasn't true. Oh, dear. So this means we do have a test on Tuesday, fellas. Yeah, but let's just try to enjoy the new year, Ned. Let's party like it's 2024. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yee-haw! <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's party hardy. Boys, good news! The world didn't end! Well, Happy New Year to you too, I guess. I'm going to bed. <laughs>